Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new then hi, welcome. So, starting off the first video? Maybe this is the second video of the year, I can't remember now. But, I am going to be doing, as you could tell by the title, um, a video based on my goals for 2020, um, what I kind of want to achieve in 2020, and also yeah just what to look forward to in 2020. I thought I would start off this vlog by I'm gonna go for a run so I thought I would just take you with me. One of them that I want to be doing in 2020 is definitely my fitness and my health so I'm gonna go for a run. I thought I'd take you along with me. Um, I've got my new gear on that I got for Christmas and yeah and also another one is my hair health so looking after my hair um, because my hair is very like it's just so frizzy and I don't know what to do about it so I need to look at some like new products maybe. Um, I have dyed it a lot in the past and it's very big as you can tell. So this is literally after I've washed it and, and brushed it. And it's this big so yeah so we're about to go for a run by we i mean me and jordan just thought i would take you along with me and then when i'm back talk a bit about my 2020 vision and 2020 vision no my 20 like what i want to do in 2020 what to expect and kind of resolutions yes thanks mum. my new year's resolutions and reflecting on the past as well like what happened in 2019 anything that i can do to better myself all of that jazz. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put my hair in a bandana because I cannot run with this. This just won't work. So, put this in bandana and then we can go. Even with a bandana in, my hair is so frizzy. Are you putting your now? No. <laughs> I'm still talking to the vlog. Look at this. What is this? Why is it so frizzy? I need help. <laughs> Um, there's like a jungle gym near where I live, so we're probably gonna go around the park and then go on like the jungle apparatus and maybe see if I can do some sort of like abs, legs, because there's not much there. Um, I'll show you anyway when we get there. And then we also decided last minute to do a food shop. So once we have finished on a work doing a workout, then we are gonna go for a cool down and go for a walk to Audi. Good, good fun. So yeah, let's go. Let's go jungle gym. Let's pump some iron. I'm literally <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna pass out because I've got a cold, but it's okay because we're getting fit. So <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> Just taking a walk around the park, like the circumference perimeter. Perimeter. What's the whole thing? The perimeter. Is it? No, you, oh. you said circumference. Yeah, yes, I thought it was circumference. Yeah. Um, the perimeter around the park, um, and then when we're done, we're going to go to the jungle gym and do a bit of the um, the apparatus that they've got there. Do a bit of a circus. Circuit. <laughs> you can tell I haven't done training in a while. I'm terrible at running, so maybe that can be another New Year's resolution. Get better at running. I don't know. I'm great on the treadmill, but when it comes to what's this called? Like real running, not real running, but what's this called? Flat surface? No. There's a word for it, and I can't think now. But just say outdoor cardio. Thank you. That that word. Um, when it comes to that, it's not as good. Like I can literally run for about five minutes, and I feel like I'm about to pass out on the treadmill. I can run for about 20 minutes to half an hour, absolutely fine. But yeah, something I don't know. Maybe it's because of the uneven flooring and I don't know, but maybe that can be something else I can get better at. So yeah, for now we're just walking around the park and yeah, those are dogs and I love it. I love seeing dogs.
we just finished with the jungle gym. We're now on our way to Aldi, but my phone is on 10%. So, um, yeah, won't be able to film, probably not. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing. So we're nearly home, we've got all the shopping, it's freezing cold, the workout was really good um, but I just wanted to look, take a look at the sky because it, well I wanted to show you the sky because it just looks so pretty. I don't know if you can really see it as well on camera but it's like a blush pink and I love this. I wish the sky looked like this majority of the time, it looks so pretty. So we're basically home now, I'm going to put all the food away um, and then I'm probably going to do another ab workout because I didn't really do abs, I did more legs um, so I'm going to do a quick ab workout and then basically talk about my new year's resolutions and what to see, know what to expect in 2020 or what I want to accomplish in 2020 as well. So this bag's about to drop, do you want to open the door? <laughs> no, you've got a key. Oh. <laughs> so, all the shopping is put away. And I also, I'm going to show you some things that I picked up um, from Audi. So, I just keep them eating. And they're these Frutella Koalas Gelatin Free. I'm a pescatarian, which is I only eat fish, so no meat. So, when it comes to certain sweets, some of them have gelatin, which is pork um, fat. So... Oh, love these and then also I got this water bottle that says you got this and then on the back it says also different times and it says like keep going so this is really gonna help me drink a lot of water that's another New Year's resolution is definitely drink a lot more water because I am terrible when it comes to drinking water um, so hopefully um, this one will help because at least I can track my time that I'm drinking and yeah and also it comes with a little straw so yeah got that and then i also got i wanted to not treat myself a lot this year but not focus so much on dwelling on if i do treat myself if that makes sense to so say if i go and get something i don't want to then get it and then after be like oh why did I spend that much money? Or why did I spend that money on myself? Or why did I get that? Or maybe that was pointless when, if it makes me happy, then I'm just gonna get it from now on. And yeah, I'm not gonna be stupid with my money, but I'm not gonna overthink about things. That's another thing. Overthinking I do a lot, like it's a stupid amount. So I want to buy myself some more candles this year because candles also help me relax a lot. Um, especially in the evening, I like to just light a candle relax my bed and it helps me de-stress as well so having some nice candles around my bedroom and I've got like a couple near my bedside table and a couple now on my windowsill but I just want a couple more so I picked up number 22 um, hotel collection sweet almond and macaron macaroon macaron they're so good it reminds me of a sweet cherry Ch oh what are they called George sorry what's the cherry tarts Bakewell, cherry, but, yes, bakewell. cherry bakewell tarts is what it smells like, but with loads of more, like the, the almond essential oil is like, boom, in this, so very happy with this. So yeah, there were just a few of my purchases, I think, obviously I got other bits, but I just really wanted to show them because I, I feel like that was quite fitting um, in New Year's resolution. Uh, drinking some more water, finding new things, and just being happy, but also shouldn't have had that. I wanted to also do a video where I'm talking about my New Year's resolutions and maybe like you can comment some of your New Year's resolutions. Yeah, just talking about 2020 in general, like what to expect on this channel, um, what I'm going to do for myself and what I've set for myself. Obviously the main one started off this video, which was the fitness, so I'm definitely going to get be, well, I'm definitely going to be getting a lot more into fitness. I also, oh, did you bring it up here, the protein powder? Yeah, it's up there. Oh, damn. Can't bother. I'm about to say fitness and then I'm like, I can't bother to get up. But, um, so there, I also got some protein powder today and it's peanut butter, like Reese's pieces. Oh my God, it looks so good. So I'm definitely going to get into a lot more fitness this year. Um, hence the water bottle, drinking a lot more water when I go to the gym. Well, home gym for now and then like to the park, doing a lot more there. This was kind of like something I said last year and then it just went out of the window completely and never really happened. And throughout last year, it wasn't, I wasn't really myself. I felt very just down. 
most of the times when it's something you shouldn't like there would be times when I shouldn't be down and I was down and I think that's the main reason of my health and obviously eating and energizing yourself and drinking a lot of water just those little things 2018 was probably one of my favorite years due to being happy and healthy I was nearly always going to the gym um, always working out I drank so much water um, and I was just happy in myself whereas 2019 complete opposite and it really showed the complete difference to that so I'm not doing that again and this year I'm getting back into fitness and I'm not going to say next year I'm going to get back into fitness because I'll already be into fitness and drinking water and it will just be a thing from now on. Um, as I say that drinking a coke rather than water but you know zero sugar so as you if you are new then you probably wouldn't maybe know but if you are someone who has been subscribed for a while then you would have realized that I've changed my name to not Louise North which is my name that was my channel's name I've now changed it to life with Lou um I just felt like that was quite fitting um in general I'm doing this channel I've never really thought of a specific theme or where do I fit in the whole YouTube like community or do I have like a certain category that I fit in I've kind of always just thought do I like doing that yeah I'm gonna do it do I like doing this yeah I'll do it but then I've never really given my channel a name it's just been my name but I really wanted to kind of have a set in stone idea to help me get on the ball a bit better with YouTube so life with Lou basically means my my life and you'll be living my life with me so I'm gonna be doing a lot more vlogs um, it's gonna be based around lifestyle healthy eating um, gym um, what I do in a day um, my life is in my career my job my family um, I'll also be doing other singing videos and my acting lifestyle just basically everything that I do. That's why I thought I would do Life With Lou. Gives you more of an insight as of what to expect from this channel as well. I'm also going to be making sure that I go into the studio a lot more. I have written so much, wrote, written, written. I've written so much music, like so much music, but I just haven't put it out there. And going to the studio the other day really just got me into that buzz feeling of getting back into the studio. So keep an eye out for those and I'll definitely be doing a lot more studio time and yeah so I'm really excited about 2020 I've got a good feeling about 2020 I can't, don't really know what else to say on that matter um but yeah that's kind of kind of what to expect um and be happy not that I wasn't happy so don't know what happened but basically my phone ran out of storage so good times. Uh, probably we'll look into a different camera for uh, vlogging and generic YouTube. Um, but however, I just want to recap. So basically, I just want to be happier, um, less overthinking. And yeah, that was basically what this video was about. Um, just reflecting on my 2020, what to expect on this channel and what I'm doing for my own goals as well this year. So yeah, I hope you liked this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up and you can also subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face at the end of the video or you can press this little button right here and then you'll be subscribed to my channel automatically. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you soon with another video. Bye.